Hi and welcome everyone. If you clicked on this video, you are going to see our trip to one of the most famous endurance races in the world, Nürburgring 24 hours. If you don't know what it is, don't worry because the purpose of this video will help you better imagine where you can go and what you can see and experience, especially for people who are from abroad or never been here. It is going to be divided into sections where you will see the history, expenses or best viewpoints. But for the best overview, I recommend to see the full video. So sit down and enjoy our trip from Canada to Germany. Step number one is ticket purchase. The official page is the best place where you can find a lot of other information as well. Like map of the whole area, full schedule of events, accommodation and camping. What was waiting in this envelope for me? My ticket. These guys are not selling e-tickets, so they are gonna send it uh, via post. So make sure that you are gonna order them maybe two weeks early or something like that. After that, everything was simple. We bought flight tickets, booked a rental car in advance for more comfort. We packed everything necessary and off we go to Europe. Uh, welcome to Frankfurt, Germany, and we are heading to Nürburgring. This is our car for the weekend. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Nürburgring. Why all that hype? This is Spa, longest track in Formula One calendar. And pretty much this is the half of the season. And this is Nürburgring. To boost the economy, Germany built it in 1927 the longest track in the world, Nürburgring Nordschleife, what stands for Northern Loop. F1 raced here, but it became way too dangerous and left in 1976. Jackie Stewart, a triple world champion, called this place Green Hell. Which is not far from the truth, because Nicky Lauda had a, unfortunately a famous accident here, where he almost burned alive. In the 80s, they built a shorter and safer Grand Prix track for modern race cars and left the 20 km or 12 mile long Nordschleife for endurance racing and tourist driving. When you are finally here, where are you going to stay? Well, this is up to you and you have to think ahead. If you get here early, and I mean one week before, you will find spot around the Nordschleife at designated campgrounds. Hotels and rooms in the closest villages around the track can be sold out weeks before. After some research, I found good info on Reddit forums, what helped me to choose the Camp Amering, what is a first-come, first-served camping ground for vehicles. It is right next to the track and best option when you want to experience the lifestyle of hardcore fans. Food, beer, showers and tap water is inside the area, for the price of 60 euro for person, this was the best option for us. Hello. Hello. I got these tickets. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, that was uh, easier than Pretty I thought. Easy. <laughs> and just like that, we are completely free to access almost everywhere around the track, inside the paddock, pits and all tribunes. What's for 65 euros unbeatable deal try match this F1. I think I found a place what I can tell it's the dream for everyone who loves cars. We are walking to the pits and it's amazing that Nürburgring is doing this for the fans because the teams are preparing the, the cars for tomorrow for the race and the fans can just take a look what they are doing. Here are all those drivers and they are doing autograms for you so it's amazing. Today it really feels that it's gonna be the that is the race day. Now we are correctly standing at the ring boulevard, which is basically a square which is under the roof. Yeah, so I think we are gonna go on the other side and take a look how it looks over there. It's so sick to experience something like this. I'm getting back to my place and I'm gonna enjoy this race. <laughs> We found a sweet place to watch the start of the 24 hour race and then I will show you section by section the whole Nordschleife. What for us was a 22 km trip around the track, 
but you don't need to be crazy like me. There are free shuttle buses which can drop you off or pick you up at a couple places around the track. Now enjoy this my friends. <laughs> We move to the first corner of Green Hell. It's a busy spot close to the village with food truck and beer. One kilometer downhill you get to an amazing part called Hatzenbach, where you finally see what this race is all about. Good times, barbecue and race cars. Oh, did I mention the pool? Schwedenkreuz is the fastest part of the track. As you can see around me, there's basically no one. But I want to tell you that you've got, I think, four or five campsites about going nuts. Uh, there is techno music and so on. And there are parts like this. You've got super calm parts where it's almost no one. You are in the middle of the forest and you are enjoying just the racing cars next to the track. I recommend the viewpoint on the top of Fuxrure, which is close to the track. And you see the cars going flat out downhill through one of the most exciting parts. Then the trail will lead you from deep forest to party island called Metzgesfeld, full of fans. Food trucks and beer tents are placed at the most popular places around the track. At one point the track is crossing a small town and we had there a midnight dinner in one restaurant. For me it looks like french fries is the national food because you can get it almost everywhere and together with bratwurst or currywurst it's the best combo what costs around 8 euro. Glass of beer is around 4 euros and if you want to really save money grab your own barbecue, buy all supplies in supermarket and have a best party with your friends in your life. The fans are the bread and butter of this event. The man-made outdoor living rooms, the fireworks, the loud music. That is the pure passion and love for this place. The atmosphere is the best through the night when this place looks like giant festival. <laughs> Good morning guys, this is the second day of the race, it's early morning. Now I'm going back where I yesterday uh, ended basically. We shuttled back here, so basically we are starting at the same spot. This part of the track which is going uphill, it's called Bergwerk. It's not really famous part for the uh, spectators, just because there is no way that you, are, you can go close to the road. This is how it looks, it's just a dirt road which is going up. But down here, it's the legendary corner where Niki Lauda almost, almost died in the fire. On the top of this hill is the iconic place which is called Carousel. So that was the famous Carousel. And now we are climbing on the highest place on the track, which is called Hohe Acht. I am here for the first time and I thought I'm gonna be a little bit lost, but everything is so obvious. You have hiking trails all over this place. So if you like hikes and motorsport, this is the best combination. Finally, I have the first experience of the Eiffel weather. I always just uh, heard about it, but now I have, now I'm finally experiencing it. So it's probably one and a half hour to go, and the weather here is so unpredictable. Correctly, right now it's mix of rain and hail, and it's really spicy on the track. The drivers are really fighting the cars. 
and it's really hard to pick up what's gonna be the best choice of the tires so one and a half hour to go and everything still can happen all right people are already leaving and this is the famous Flans Garden part where the cars are lifting up I'm actually surprised like how early the fans just pack up and just left because yesterday everything here was full so this is the last corner and then it's just a long straight so basically that's it from the Nordschleife I hope you like it and we are heading to the start finish line and hopefully we are gonna be there before they are gonna reach 24 hours you are not gonna believe but we made it one and a half minutes to go this is an achievement a big achievement for us If this video helped you to better prepare or you consider to visit this event, please like it and share it to your friends who might be interested. Because I have to say that the pricing, atmosphere and the whole approach of this event is so unique that you will not find anything like this in the world. The track is calm and it's empty, what means that the 2022 24 hours of Nürburgring is done. Everything what we have to do is to pack our stuff back into our luggage. We are gonna drop the car at the Frankfurt airport and from there we are going to our hometown back in Slovakia. So I hope you like this unique look on this event. And yeah, that's probably everything what I want to say. Bye. <laughs>